Hi everyone, Tom from IXCG here, and we wanted to show you some of the progress we made over the last couple of weeks. And we've been working on the route editing uh, features. Uh, nothing more frustrating than trying to enter something into the FMS and uh, you get an invalid entry or it can't take it or something like that. Or maybe you need to make a change at the last second. You want to be able to input that in. So uh, we're going to demonstrate a route from uh, Hamburg, Germany to Frankfurt. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to use both CDUs here. Put in some perf init data. Just uh, pick a random cruise altitude there. Uh, some of these buttons are not wired up on that side, so we'll, we'll execute the perf init on this side. And we'll put in our airports. UDDH, Hamburg, to Frankfurt. And uh, we'll, we'll turn the EHSI onto map mode so that you can see what's going on here. I'll back out here. <clears throat> we'll set the Copilot CD over to the legs page so you can kind of follow along as we enter routes. So of course the first thing we want to do is uh, enter a departure and uh, we can enter a runway of course and uh, usually you go through and you would select uh, a SID in this case uh, we can select uh, Amru 7 Charlie and we do that and you can see here on the Copilot CDU that those four points are, are populated in. Uh, but there's also another feature uh, that we have, and it's called uh, Auto Select. And when you select a instrument departure that only has one runway associated with it, then it will auto select that runway. For example, uh, Amru 7 Delta is associated with runway 15. So if we select this SID, it will automatically select runway 15 for us. Uh, so we got a couple of messages there. Clear this message. Let's still have a few bugs to work out though. Uh, but alternatively, if you have this one selected, you can override it and select another runway while uh, keeping this selected. Of course, the runways are not matched for those SIDs, so you'll get uh, funny results. Um, but you'll see that the uh, uh, path will try to uh, draw it nonetheless. So if we selected some of these other runways, we might get some funny routes here because they're, they're not matched, they're not designed. Uh, so usually the best course of action is, is of course, to select the runway and then the, uh, the departure here. So uh, after we do that, of course, uh, we go on to the uh, route page. And uh, we're going to want to enter some airways. So uh, we're going to start with Uniform Mike 852. And we'll enter runway. And then we're going to go to a point uh, called the fix called Ulsen. And uh, as we add uh, these points here, you'll notice here on the route legs page, it'll get a little bit longer as we go to Ulsen. Uh, we've only really added two points though. Uh, but let's say we wanted to go a little bit further than Ulsen. Let's say we wanted to go to a fix called Somix, which is uh, a little bit further down uh, the airway here. So we can write that and you'll see that those will get added to uh, the route as well. And the page gets even longer. Uh, but what if we wanted to go in the other direction? Let's say instead of Somix, we wanted to go to Ham. Uh, Ham is a fix that's actually uh, way back by the runway. And as you take a good look here, you say the route will, uh, indeed, it will try to try fly the uh, Amblu departure. When it gets to Amblu, it will turn right back around and uh, try to hit the, uh, the Ham waypoint. So, uh, but we, want, we don't want to do that. We want to go to Ulsen. So we will put that back in one more time. So after after uh, Ulsen, we're going to go to Tango 157. And, uh, oops, it's Tango 155. Tango 157 doesn't connect to Ulsen, so I've got an invalid entry. So we'll go to Tango 155, and then we're going to take that to the low C fix. And once again, when I do a low C, you'll see all the legs populated. Those points are added. Those points are added to the route. Well, one in this case. We're not going very far. Um, from there, we're going to use Tango 157. Uh, actually, before we do Tango 157, let's go ahead and add a uh, arrival. Let's say, uh, let's, uh, let's go to the route page. And let's say while you're doing that, you, you step away for a cup of coffee, and uh, the co-pilot comes in and... And he, he decides that uh, he's going to go ahead and put the arrival in. So he comes in and he'll select this. And you'll see on the other side he selects the ILS uh, Yankee 07 Lima Tran uh, approach. And so, of course, we're going from uh, 
uh, T155 to the elusive waypoint, and then after that, uh, we get a disco until it can uh, find its way to the first point of the approach. And as we inject a star in here, of course, uh, that will be the first point on the descent. So we'll select this one, and you can see that then that changes uh, to Crocs. And as we go a little bit further, you can see uh, we'll use the uh, 07 November transition to the beginning of the approach, then we'll use the approach to the runway, and then of course the missed approach after the fact. Uh, well, even though we have a disco in there, we can still continue to add routes as normal. So we'll go to Tango 157. Put in Tango 157. And Tango 157 goes to Karax, and you can just click on that, and then click on the boxes here, and that will close the route. Uh, but you can also type it in. There's really no difference uh, when you, when you click the boxes, um, the FMS will know that this is and it will auto-close uh, the route for you. And so there we have a complete route all the way. If we go on the next page, uh, we can see all these, all these points here. And uh, if we want to step through them, we can, we can step through all the points here. If you look at the EHSI, I'll zoom in a little bit here. You see we go through all the points and uh, we have a a little kink there, but that's the way the points are addressed. We'll actually clean that up here in just a second. And that's how we go all the way around the points. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, activate and uh, execute the route. We have to come out of plan mode to do that. So we'll activate and then we're going to execute the route. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit here and let's say that uh, while we're taxiing out, let me zoom in a little bit. Actually, I'll see. Nope, that's where we want to be. Let's say while we're taxiing out, uh, <clears throat> we plan to be on runway 05, uh, that for some reason we get another runway. So we, we want to say, okay, let's uh, take off from runway 15. So we'll select runway 15 and we'll select the MLU departure. And uh, you'll see that the mod route will, will give us um, uh, the new route in there. Uh, and we can assess routes that way. So uh, let's say while you're taxing the 115, you say, oh, okay, no, we're not going to do runway 15. Well, we're going to do runway 23. And then you select the MLU departure, and uh, you can look at that one. Uh, or you can even hit uh, runway 33 and hit the MLU 7 Gulf, and it will work its way around uh, in each case. So I'll go ahead and uh, execute that, and that'll be the route. <clears throat> And so let's go to the route page. Uh, let's say we wanted to make a change to a route that's already been activated. So, for instance, if you remember, we went to, uh, we tried Somix instead of Usen. And uh, when we do that, <coughs> the Tango 155 airway does not connect uh, with Somix. So when we insert it, we'll get a disco. And uh, the route will say, okay, we're going to go to Somix, but then we don't know where you want to go from there. And we'll pick back up. Uh, at a low C. So we can close this disco on the legs page if you wanted to. We certainly can, can click uh, a low C and we can close it here, but we can also close it on the route page um, just like so. And you've seen it clean up here on the, on the page here. So if we go back to the plan mode and we work our way to that waypoint. Let me zoom out one more level. There you, go. you can see that going a lot further to uh, Somix is um, it's kind of way out of the way, and that, that's not the way we want to go. We can we can see here that uh, whatever point is before uh, Larat here, we we really want to go straight to uh, Alosi from that point. So <clears throat> if we wanted to make that kind of a modification, uh, we could come over here to uh, let's see what point that would be. It would be whichever one is before HLZ. Actually, we want to take this Alosi point, and uh, we want to move it to uh, where HLZ is. So we can click on that point, go back a page, and we can put it on HLZ. We can step through it, and you see we have a we have a lot cleaner route here. And if we wanted to delete, say, the GED to straighten this up, and maybe even to Neve. Uh, we could do that as well. Let's try that. We can generate D. Close that one up. And uh, we can delete GED as 
job. We can close that one up. Oops. Yep, that's a rookie move, trying to ride a point on top of itself. And now when we step it, we can get it, we can get a, a cleaner route. It's a little bit straighter. We took the little kink out. We executed that, and then we have a, a, a much better one here. So um, let's see what else. We do have uh, an overwrite feature too, uh, which I actually don't have time to do. I have to catch a flight. Uh, but you can overwrite uh, airways as well, and if they share the same point, then they will auto close as well. So we believe this will make it a lot more uh, interesting when you're flying online and you have to make changes in flight or swap uh, procedures that you get uh, consistent routes and you can do it. So until um, next time, I hope you enjoyed the video.